hello everyone hope everyone are doing great in today's demo we will see how to create a chatbot using amazon links and how to integrate the same in a static website which is hosted on s3 and the cloudfront we go to the uh, what are the topics we'll be uh, seeing first we will start with amazon lex uh, uh, amazon lex is nothing but a user convention interface uh, which uses the same technology as Amazon. Amazon Lex is a service provided by AWS uh, which is built to conventional interface or chatbot and utilizes the same technology that has been proposed Amazon Alexa which is commonly used in the Amazon Echo devices. Okay, uh, These are the most important parameters we need to uh, know before going to the Amazon Lex. Uh, basically the intent and action that a user wants to perform utterance user input that triggers an entrance okay and then prompt uh, bot message designed to get data needed to complete the requested action and the slot input data that is needed to complete the requested action and the fulfillment uh, completed action based on the user request okay over coming to the flow diagram the user uh, access the static website which is uh, hosted on s3 bucket and uh, distribution have been done in the amazon cloud front and this static website contains a user interface um, one is connected with uh, amazon lex chatbot another one is amazon foley text to speech conversion okay this is about amazon lex the second thing is about how to create a chatbot using amazon lex for ordering pizza okay uh, this is about uh, how, how we need to create a chatbot using amazon lex uh, you need to navigate to Amazon Lex in the management console and uh, inside the Amazon Lex uh, console uh, you need to create a bot uh, I kept the bot name as a pizza order and the description option ordering a pizza okay uh, once uh, and the language you need to select as the English okay once uh, that has been done uh, you need to cre uh, create the intent the intent name I given as a pizza order if you go here in Amazon Lex uh, the intent here uh, the I kept the intent name as a pizza order and the uh, description if you go inside the uh, intent there will be utterance okay the utterance is uh, one thing uh, uh, user input that triggers an intent okay uh, basically it will have a high or low uh, what you want to order like that okay this is the utterance uh, sample utterance hi hello i would like to order pizza and then this is a slot uh, the slot is basically um, which helps uh, for the input data that is needed to complete the requested action okay uh, we given the slot has a first name uh, may know your name and this is basically amazon first name and then uh, what is the pizza type you want to order basically italian or mexican pizza what type of pizza and the delivery time uh, delivery time is nothing but uh, which uh, time slot you want to the delivery uh, we can add a card group and uh, you can mention the time you want to uh, basically it is for user convenience okay uh, all the screenshots i have added in this blog and the description i will give this uh, thing and also you need to give the slot type value values uh, basically it is uh, uh, slot type and then values you need to give and then you need to confirm with the confirmation slot and the closing slot message uh, this is basically the confirmation message for the user and uh, this is a thank you note you will be giving in the closing response this is the call group the preferred time you can give okay once you have completed the thing uh, you will have a chatbot ready you can basically test this chatbot in the amazon lex here itself okay just click on the test okay it will open the chatbot here you can type i may know your name my name is vijay uh, which pizza you want to order i want to order the mexican pizza uh, which is a uh, time slot you uh, need order i want it by 6 pm Can I go over it with the request? Yes. Okay, I order details of uh, pizza Mexican. 
thank you for order will be delivered by it this is a uh, simple chatbot i have developed okay this is about um, uh, how to create a simple chatbot in a amazon lex okay next we will uh, see how to uh, create a sample uh, static website on the s3 bucket okay we'll go to the s3 console okay uh, now we can see how to host a static website on the s3 bucket Okay, moving on to the S3 console. At the uh, bucket name as a static website 2004. Okay, uh, inside that I added the objects including index.html everything. Okay, uh, what are the modifications I have done? And I go to the properties. I enable the static website hosting. If you come down below, I enable the static website hosting. Okay and uh, the second thing what i have done is uh, uh, i added the permissions uh, to enable uh, disable the block all public access and i added the bucket policy i replaced the um, bucket name with the static website okay this is a bucket policy and i disabled the block all public access okay if you click on the link in the static website hosting it will redirect you to the uh, uh, static website just click on this okay this is a sample website okay uh, next we will see how to integrate a chatbot with a website hosted on s3 bucket okay um, if you go here Okay, this is how the website looks. Um, now, if you click on the uh, uh, cloud formation stack which I mentioned here, okay, it will uh, redirect to the blo uh, blog. Uh, it will explain clearly on how to integrate to the website. I'll just click on the uh, stack available in the cloud formation stack, which is uh, US East 1, North Virginia. Once you click on the uh, stack, okay, these are the things it, it will be. Uh, created once you create the stack let me explain you okay basically it will create a cloud font and uh, uh, web UI artifacts amazon lex poly cognito everything will be created uh, what are the things you need to modify let me explain okay uh, once the stack have been completed uh, in the cloud formation you need to change the uh, Lex V2 bot ID and the uh, alias ID. Basically, we can see the alias ID and the bot ID here. Okay, go to your bot. Go to pizza order. Uh, this is the bot ID and click on the alias. this is the alias id you need to uh, replace this one with the xp2 version and then you need to enter the web application parameters basically i entered the static website web app origin and then you need to give the index.html and then you need to give the uh, intent as required once this has been done uh, you need to go to the outputs in the cloud formation stack okay once uh, this has been done uh, in next UI code deploy you go, need to go to the outputs uh, and click on the snippets snippet URL here okay and then you need to copy the snippet and add it to your, your uh, static website uh, okay this is the script I have been added this is a snippet basically this is a, a snippet used for the script used for the chatbot UI loader once uh, this has been replaced in the index.html, uh, replace the existing index.html with this uh, um, thing, and then you can be able to see the chatbot in the static website. Okay, uh, now we'll continue with the integration of a chatbot. 
okay uh, what i did is uh, uh, now went to the cloud plant and then in the distribution list uh, i made the invalidation um, clearing the content and uh, copying it new once that has been done i am able to see the chatbot here and uh, successfully initiated the amazon expo ui version as well just type uh, hi okay this is the same thing which you have seen in the amazon lex uh, internal testing you need to type the name okay which pizza here i am going to give italian pizza okay i'm going to prefer time for delivery i'm going to give 6 pm can you go ahead with the request yes this is a confirmation prompt okay this is a fulfilling your request and that's it guys once you are done you can clean up all the AWS resources one is with the uh, cloud power machine you need to clean up another one is s3 bucket and third one is uh, the chatbot you have created in amazon lex okay hope uh, this information is useful if you like this uh, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you everyone hope you